I'm glad you did. Thanks. I think. Why are you trying to be so nice to me? Why shouldn't I be? Because you hate my guts? No, I don't hate your guts, Molly. I just can't stand the way you treat Mike. You are not in any position to judge how I treat Mike. Our relationship is none of your business. Well, I know you guys were lovers. So does everybody. And that you lived together. And that you didn't remain friends. Is that what Mike told you? Well, no. I mean, he didn't really have to. I see the way he is when he comes back from talking to you. He's either sad or angry or guilty. I guess you know him really well. Well, we're friends. But in case you're wondering, that's all we are. <sighs> Those flowers are going to be perfect. Thanks. I'm going to go check on Parker. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, um, since Molly's here, she should probably be your maid of honor. I mean, she's your cousin, and you love her. You're like crazy. But I asked you and Mike to stand up with Jack and me. That's what I want. Got it? Got it. All right, well, I'm going to go check on Mike, make sure he's not decorating the barn with pictures of old tractors or something. <laughs> okay. Baby girl, one four-year-old boy, one true love, and one lost cousin found, all together under one Montana sky. But this isn't the beginning of a happy ending. Happy endings don't exist. No matter who Sage's daddy is, Jack and I are going to be okay. Got that right. Hmm. You think I'm gonna get my happily ever after? Why not? All you need is love. And a little bit of magic. Jake and I had that. And so do you and Jack. I'm glad you're here. Results. Do you want to know who Sage's daddy is before the wedding or after? Oh. I'd like to know now. Yep. Are you absolutely sure? The man listed on that form is the biological father of your baby girl, there's no doubt about it. If he has any questions, tell him to call me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Doc. Nice night for a wedding. What? Congratulations. Thanks. You don't believe it. Who is that? Carly, you're not dressed. You're getting married in like ten minutes. What's wrong? Nothing. Everything. Was it whoever that just was? I mean, did he do something? Yeah. yeah he gave me this. You're not changing your mind, are you? No. No, of course not. I, I love Jack. I want to marry him more than anything else in this world. It's just... 
The timing. Okay, well, speaking of timing, Hannah says you have got to be ready within ten minutes because that's when the moon is going to rise and that's the most auspicious time for vows and promises. And not really that it's any of my business, but considering your track record, I think you need all the auspiciousness you can get. And if Jack has told me once, he's told me a dozen times, he wants to marry me no matter what. Everything else, we'll just have to wait. Carly, what's on that piece of paper? I have a feeling that it's not just a note wishing you good luck on your wedding day. No, it isn't. But it is my wedding day. And that is a very sacred thing. So what is on that piece of paper, we'll have to wait. So come on, Katie. Let's get me gorgeous. 